Hi everyone, my name is Mia and I'm on the content community team here at Flipboard. Thank you so much for tuning in. This section is for people totally new to Flipboard, so if you're already familiar with it, now may be a good time to stretch your legs or get a cup of coffee. You can download Flipboard for free from the App Store, the Google Play Store, the Windows Store, or go to Flipboard.com. Go get it now if you don't already have it. And again, Flipboard costs nothing to download or to use. So what is Flipboard? Flipboard is one place to keep up on all your passions, whether that's teaching, fly fishing, literature, ecology, whatever it is that interests you. Content can come in through the web or through social networks, and we have special relationships with hundreds of publishers. These are the great journalistic sources like the New York Times, National Geographic, the Wall Street Journal, and the Washington Post. On Flipboard, content is beautifully and cleanly rendered for fast and immersive reading, and there are easy ways to save content for later into magazines. Let me show you what I mean. Please bear with me a quick second while I screen share my phone. So this is what Flipboard looks like to a new user. Let's go through the setup. I'm showing you on my phone, since that's one of the most popular ways people use Flipboard. Tap on the Get Started button and start selecting topics that interest you. You can also type in topics. I'm going to show you a couple of, in education to show you the breadth of what's available. As Marcy said, topics are like news feeds of articles being shared across Flipboard. You need to follow at least five topics before Flipboard will let you proceed. There are over 34,000 topics to choose from, and so many related to education. So don't be shy about filling up your Flipboard with what matters to you. You can always add more later. After you're done picking topics of interest, tap the Next button. Then create an account by filling in your name, email address, and password. I'm going to sign in with an account that I created earlier. If you want to change the username that Flipboard assigns to you, tap on the person icon in the lower right, and then the settings gear in the top right. Tap edit profile to adjust your username or your display name. Be sure to add an avatar as well as a bio to help other people find you. It's important to create an account for several reasons. Number one, it lets you save content across devices and platforms. This is really helpful if you're on the go and using different devices, or if you share a device like a tablet with someone, this is how you can save your preferences to your own account. It's also the only way to save content to your class and to Flipboard magazines. We'll get to a lot more on this later. Now you'll see that as soon as I'm signed in, the content from the topics that I picked earlier is powering my cover stories. You could also think of this as your home feed on Flipboard. That's why, it's behind this, that's why it's behind this little house icon on the bottom left. I can find everything that's powering my cover stories over here behind the little grid icon. You actually can't see this in the screen share, but it's a little grid of squares, and we also call that the table of contents. Here are the topics I followed earlier. Just tap on Find More Topics to Follow to look for more. Tap on the word accounts to connect Flipboard to your social networks like Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Let me show you what a Twitter feed looks like on Flipboard. This is what my timeline looks like. You can see that it's a fast, efficient way to scan what's being shared by the people I'm following on Twitter. Tap here on top of the masthead to dive into your Twitter feeds. If you use Twitter lists, you can find them where it says your lists. Tap follow in the upper right corner at any time to add that content to your cover stories.
But here's the really, really cool thing that I wanted to show you. See this plus button in the bottom right corner on any piece of content? Tap on it to flip that article, photo, video, or even SoundCloud file into a Flipboard magazine. You can even add a comment before flipping it into the magazine. I'm going to flip it into a magazine I've already created, but if you are starting from scratch, tap that gray box where it says new. Give your magazine a good title and description. This helps the magazine be more discoverable through Flipboard search and gives your class or readers a good idea of what to expect inside. If you want your magazine to be private just for yourself or for a small group, Tap on the magazine setting icon up here in the top right corner. Go to advanced settings and slide the toggle over so it says only you and the people you invite can view and follow this magazine. You can invite others at your school to contribute by going back and tapping on the words invite people to contribute to send them an email, an email invitation. or tap on one of the icons under that to send out the invitation by text message or social network. We'll have more about magazine collaboration from Amy Vernon later today. Now let me show you how to create a beautiful cover. Go to your magazine and find the image you'd like to be the cover. Tap and hold on it and then press promote to cover. You can always undo this. To undo this, press and hold and then select Reset Cover to revert to the most recent item as the cover. Sometimes it takes a little while to stick. I want to take you back to this menu for a second. It houses your magazine's tools as well as ways to share it out to readers. If you want to customize any of these options, tap on the buttons that say more to rearrange the actions or to turn share options on and off. There's one more other important location for tools and that is on the web at about.flipboard.com tools. I'll switch to Safari here to show you what this looks like. Definitely install the Flip It button onto your browser bar so you can flip anything from the web into your Flipboard magazines. The web tools are also where you can rearrange items in your magazine or rearrange the magazines themselves on your profile. There we go. So these are some of the very basics about what you can do with Flipboard.